Greetings fellow flight simmer and welcome to more Gripper Sim 4K crazy eye candy action. Well, this week not so much crazy madness I'm afraid because this week I have been concentrating on getting better frames per second on my computer and reducing the stutter in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, it's it, it's tricky at best. There are many videos out there. I've watched them all. Uh, I have been experimenting all week. Uh, some people say, you know, uh, switch on game mode or switch it off. I can't see any difference. Some of you may or some of you may not. There's certain things uh, that do stand at a constant theme though. So I've picked all the best settings I can get from forums. Um, uh, and I put them all, all the ones that work for me. Okay. Now, for me, what does that mean? Well, I'm running a 2080 Ti processor. Okay. Which is better than most in all fairness. And I get that. Um, but I'm running this footage in 4K and in ultra settings. Um, and it looks pretty smooth to me. I'm also using a uh, flight control replay recorder. That's an early beta. Okay. It's in very early beta and it seems to be working partly. It's only early better, which is fine. Um, also, when you're seeing my footage and when I show you the FPS as I run the footage, do be aware that not only am I running this in 4K, I'm also recording it in OBS, okay, which does kill your frame rates by about 10. So whatever you see from me, you'll get probably 10 extra, I would hope. Um, also be aware that the aircraft you're flying and all that kind of thing, but we're in New York and I've chosen New York because it kills your FPS, and it's the most FPS hungry city in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, let's just load it up. I sped this up, by the way. It's not, my machine isn't that fast. So let's go into options and have a look at what options I have, okay? And then we talk about my machine. So uh, I'm running 4K, there's the screen resolution. 3840 by 2160, and I'm running it in Ultra. Ultra. A V-Sync switch off, switch that off, get rid of that. And you can see my rendering, uh, rendering scaling is at, uh, I put it to 100. So that's all 4K. The rest is all the same, okay? So this is my base. I'm gonna reload this scenario in New York. Uh, and this is where I'm gonna start um, my base. So this is just with ultra settings, no fiddling with the PC or anything like that. So we're gonna have a look at that. So it's starting about 21 frames a second there, up to 28, 29. Now there is a little spot around here where it gets really, really frame hungry in New York. Um, so um, you'll notice if you look out the right hand side at times, you'll see the stuttering, okay? Um, and it looks kind of smooth, okay? It looks okay, because I do have a 2080 Ti, all right? Um, my 3090, this four months now, I've been waiting for my 3090 from overclockers. Um, um, incidentally, while, we're, while you're watching, we're just going to look at the frames per second here. It's like 29, 32. So just as we're flying around here, I'm just keeping an eye on the frames per second. 25, 27, 26, 27, 29. It looks at the minute to me at about 20, 25, 27, really. It's sticking about 27. Um, so I mean, where was I? So yeah, over overclockers are code UK. Anyway, uh, they're not answering their phone, as you probably know. But actually, if you, they're actually, I thought they were going to go, they're going bust. I was terrified because I got a big order, but they're not. They're just busy. Everyone's calling them. Uh, look at that choppiness there. So it's about 20, 28 at the minute, 28 frames a second. So anyway, overclockers, uh, if you send them an email, they'll get back to you. They have a little messaging system. They do get back to you. So thank God they're not going, they're not going bust because they're so busy. Anyway, uh, I'm still waiting for my uh, 3090. Boo-hoo. So 26, 27, 26, 27 frames per second. Um, now, some of you, most of you, I would presume, are, are running a lot smaller cards than this, and you will get, you, you'll get more frames per second than I am if you're not running it in 4K, what I'm saying, okay? The reason I'm doing this in 4K is because I want the channel to be all 4K, and that's where all the work's gone. So it's now it's at 27, 26, 25, uh, 20, and what am I going to say for average? It doesn't give you the average there. 26, 25, 24, 23. It's dropping now quite substantially. Is it? No, 30, 30. It's around about 27. I think I'm 25, 24, 21. So I'll say an average of 27. I think that's fair enough. Okay, you can make up your own minds. So let's reload the flight simulator uh, and see what changes I'm going to make and how they're going to work for you as well. Okay, so as always, be sure to update your NVIDIA drivers or your graphics card drivers. That's the first thing. The next thing here, I'm going to go into game mode. Just type in game and go to game mode settings and switch that off. Okay, or on 
and getting mixed results. But very important, go into captures here and switch record in background off. Background recording should be off. That will kill your frames per second, but it'll take one or two, okay? Um, possibly more. So switch that off. That's on by default. Now, um, I don't know whether to have game mode on or off. I, I just, because it works for some people, it doesn't for others. But the next thing I'm going to GeForce Experience, okay? Go into GeForce, just type sh uh, shadow for shadow play, because it records your footage by default, doesn't it? So you want to switch that off, right? Forget about the Microsoft settings, right? It doesn't seem to work for me. Uh, switch off in-game replay off. Make sure that's off. Because that now you've just switched off two things that are recording your footage. So you can imagine the FPS it's, it's taking from you. Uh, the next thing I would like to go into is to the control panel. Not the normal one, the NVIDIA control panel. This one here. Okay, if you've got NVIDIA graphics cards. Most of you, I would presume, do. Um, so in here, okay, I'm going to go into power management. Now, first of all, make sure you go into program setup, excuse me, and select Microsoft Flight Simulator, which you can see here for me. Now go to power management mode, okay, and I want to prefer max performance, okay. The next one is the refresh rate. Now I want, it selects your monitor. Now I, I want the highest available. Okay, that's just common sense. And then texture filtering quality is up next. So if I go to texture filtering quality there, it is there. And I want that at high performance. And that has improved my FPS. That has added some other things in there. Okay, just leave it as it is. Now that has improved my FPS by say about seven, seven or eight. So hit apply. I'll, I'll say five to seven. Okay. So that's first things first. So uh, that is the NVIDIA control panel. The next thing is in your uh, display settings. Go to your display settings, right click on the on the desktop. Uh, you see I have 4K here settings, right? Um, now go to graphics settings here. And at graphics settings, switch off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is the stutter, okay? Um, switch that off and it'll improve your stutter. That's the main thing to remove the stutter or improve the stutter, I have found. Uh, and I'm going to restart. And that's all the settings you need to make in Windows. So we're back now uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm going to make some further changes in here. Now, you're probably going to think here, oh, you're, you're reducing the graphics quality. Not really, right? I'm still in 4K and I'm still in Ultra, but I'm, some things in here don't make a difference. V-Sync, make sure that's off. Uh, my uh, render scaling is at 100. Now, the anti-aliasing, I'm going to leave it here um, at, uh, I don't want the maximum. I'm going to leave it at the uh, DLAA. Uh, okay, you can switch it off if you want to, but DLAA is, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference from the top end. Terrain level to detail, I'm moving that down, okay? I'm moving that down to 100. It just doesn't make a great deal of difference, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, like a lot of these things, look, buildings, ultra, no good, uh, grass, trees, move them to high or medium or even less. doesn't make much of a difference from ultra. Uh, objects level of detail, uh, moving it down to 100. doesn't make much of a difference. See, are these ultra settings that don't make much of a difference? There's no difference between ultra uh, and high end, really. Uh, filtering down to four, texture sampling down to four. I have found that there's not much of a difference there either with your graphics. Texture synthesis, ultra, no need, medium's fine. Uh, water waves, uh, medium, there's no difference, you know, between medium and high, um, certainly in my, my system. Shadow maps, and shadow maps, terrain shadows, contact shadows, remove them all down. Shadows kill FPS, so I'm moving them down to quite low. You'll notice there's no difference, the shadows are still there, okay? Uh, I don't want to leave it off, but I leave it at 128 for terrain shadows. Contact shadows, you know... You don't need uh, that high. It doesn't make a difference. Windshield effects, okay, I'll leave it there. Reflections, uh, you know, you don't need the ultra, okay? Really. In fact, you could have this in high end. Oh, my phone's disturbing my, my recording. Bloom off, you don't need bloom. Depth of field, I'm going to have that in medium. Motion blur, I don't like motion blur, so I'm switching it off. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference at all uh, on FPS. Uh, lens flare, you can leave that on. It's just nice. And uh, glass, this is one you can hang it, have it at low because uh, it doesn't or medium, it doesn't, it, it will make a difference if you're flying a big uh, Gummer 1000 aircraft. So that's it, just those few settings. Um, and it, you'll see from the footage here, I hope, that there's not much of a difference in your graphical 
uh, eye candy, okay? Let me know in the comments, okay? So let's see now what FPS we get. I'm loading up the exact same spot as we did before. I sped this up, of course, and here we are, bang. So straight away, we're getting 39 frames a second there, okay? 35, 37, 36, 37. Uh, that's over 10 improvement. So if you say 39, that's, that's way over 10. Well, it's three or four over 10. So yeah, okay, we've got an instant for increase in frames per second. And considering I'm, I'm in 4K, so it's about 37 frames a second there. Uh, at sometimes 40. So I'm turning here. The stutter has gone a little bit. If you look to the lower left-hand corner of the screen, it's the buildings in the lower left-hand screen aren't stuttering around, okay? Uh, and it does feel much more fluid. So there is a fast improvement. It's at 38 there, 37, 37. It's sticking at 38, 37 now. 40, 41, 42 frames a second. Tight turn, okay? Over the busiest point of, of, the, uh, of the city. So 39, 40. So it's looking at about 39, actually. 38, you know, 38. 35, okay, it's reducing. So there's an average here we're kind of looking for. So now it's a 34. This is the spot here, actually, where the frames just die. Um, so it has improved quite a bit. Now, I, I keep saying this, uh, if, you're, if this is 4K, um, so if you're not bringing 4K, I would imagine you'll get about the same or at least more. So about 36 now, and I'm doing a big climb, 37, 39. So it's 40 frames a second now. So it's over 10 frames a second. 39 frames a second, 37 again, 36, 35 briefly. So I'm guessing it's about average of 37, perhaps. I'd say about 10. We cruise definitely about 10 frames a second. Let's just have a look at the result here. Uh, I'm flying the Super Cub or the X Cub in New York, and it does seem a lot smoother. Uh, now, if I wasn't recording, it would be another 10 frames a second or maybe even 15. So it's looking pretty good. Do let everybody else know what results you got from these changes in the comments down below. And if you like this video, hit the like button. It really helps, apparently. I've never asked to hit the like button, but we'll see. See you soon. Yeah. So, Mr. Trump, will you come on the show sometime because it's getting a bit boring and, and I, it's not I, as funny as it used uh, to be. It was always bad, but now it's gotten totally out of control. No, I left the funny bits out, but surely it's improved. No, I can't say that at all. But surely you'll come on the show in the next few weeks. Just say, so uh, certainly I will. Yeah, but promise. Certainly I will. And you know that. So, do you want to fly somewhere? Listen, you ready? Uh, let's go flying in a week or so. Let's go.